To really understand what the cave does to the cheese, it helps to understand what the animals do for the cheese. Like the sheep and the cows and the goats, they graze the flowers, the, the pollens, the different grasses, and they're capturing the flavor of the Northwoods of Wisconsin, and they're bringing that in and creating like a, a base of a sculpture. And that's the first stage of the process. And our job is to basically put the clothes on or you know, finish the sculpture. And, and that's what the cave does. We take the base product and dress it all up. Okay, Emily, so you saw how we make the initial curd. Some people would call it cheese, but we actually call it the curd because it's now at the stage where it's ready to become a cheese. And we do that through the aging process. And we do that aging process down in our fresh air aging cave. And you built this cave, is that it? That's the doorway to the office. Inside that hill is an 1800 square foot aging complex. your cheese in caves? Well, we do it basically because it's a great place to develop a complexity of flavor. Oh. Yeah, very cool. So you want to see some cheese? Yes. Okay. It's cool in here. Yeah, it is. Cheese likes it too. <laughs> so wow, how much cheese is in here? So. Um, a bunch. And it'll keep getting more and more filled as the season goes on. It's, um, do you actually eat the rind? Oh, I love the rind. That's some of the best flavor points is right on the rind. You can see the different stages of it. This is a pretty young one, it still looks kind of blue. And as the cheese ages, it, its pH changes and different molds will start to grow. And the, the cheese has the capacity to support over 2,000 different molds, and none of them will make you sick. But they each have their own little flavor profile, kind of like a miniature flower garden. And this one here, you can see the fuzziness. It's like cotton candy. That's supposed to be there. That's supposed to be there. That's correct. What is it actually doing? It's, it's um, if you were to take a, a high-powered microscope, it looked like a little flower, and it, I call it it's blooming and it sucks the air into the cheese through its little tiny microscopic roots, the mycelia, and it pulls gas out of the cheese. And during that process, it adds a little tiny microscopic hint of flavor because every mold has its own flavor profile. Some taste mushroomy, like this guy here is pretty mushroomy. And some taste uh, like a Hungarian paprika. And it actually looks like Hungarian paprika. Some taste like mint, some taste like honey, some taste like earth, some taste like mold, you know. And if you think about it, what does mold taste like? And it's really like a concentrated mushroom. What's a mushroom? It's a fungus. You know, so it all adds to the complexity. And this little cheese here, it's, see, it's getting puckery. Uh -huh. Well, that's because the moisture is coming out of it. Can you tell what, what kind of animal this cheese was made? From? Well, I look at the... Kind of the, 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 we put a brand on it, and that tells me the batch number. And I, I know that this Where's is a combination of sheep and cow's milk. Where's the brand? Here, right here is a good one. Okay. The batch number seven. Oh, wow. Yeah. So that gives us the flexibility to move the cheeses through the cave without worrying about losing co contact with what batch that cheese came from. So this is very much a living thing. This yes. Is, this is several living much. things yes. together. But I promise it does not scream when you cut and cut. <laughs> it, does, it doesn't do that. Is there something special about the shape of this cave? Yeah, it allows for the air to flow um, without getting stuck in a corner. And our first little cave we ever built was uh, rectangular, and it would get really stale air in it. 
and this air flows and rolls and uh, slowly goes up and exhausts out the top vent and the cool air comes in from the bottom. So what we basically did is dug into the clay walls and then fortified it with the concrete. We're in a land of extreme temperatures. We get extreme cold. Spain got extreme heat. So the bodegas, and this is basically a bodega, um, works for both of us really well because the big mass prevents radical changes in temperature. And the warmest it's ever gotten in here was 65 degrees, which is just fine for the cheese. They, they age beautifully at that temperature. Uh, but it's a fresh air aging cave, so there's, there's no mechanical refrigeration in here. And the air goes through underground through these vents, and in the wintertime it warms up to earth temperature before it comes in, and in the summer it cools to the earth temperature before it comes in. But it also brings with it pollens and different little bacteria and molds, and they all add to the complexity of the cheese. And then uh, before the cheese goes to market, we brush them up and wash them down with some vinegar and water, freshen them up, and off they go. But um, I'm, I'm really happy with them. They do what they, we need them to do, and we're not sucking out away an electric bill, and you know, it's just doing it with um, the Earth's energy. <laughs> We're able to see the whole process. You know, the, the sheep gather up the grass. We watch the whole season go through them. It comes out as milk, and the flavors are constantly changing in the milk. And then we put it into the final product, which is the cheese, and it's like taking all the flavors of northern Wisconsin and squishing it into a little piece. And so we're able to bring the flavors of northern Wisconsin to people and say, hey, this is what home tastes like. So right now, I'm one happy cheese-loving woman. I really enjoyed my day talking with Mary and Dave and learning all about making cheese. And if watching this has made you crave cheese too, fear not. Stop by the St. Paul Farmer's Market. Mary will be there every weekend. And buy yourself a round, a, a round of incredible flavor. I'm Emily Noble with SPNN. And need I remind you, eat good cheese. <laughs>